Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor of Simply Vegas. Today, we'll be checking out TriPoint Homes' newest community called Vertex in West Summerlin of Redpoint Village, Las Vegas, Nevada. The community of Vertex is located west of the 215. The major crossroads are Redpoint Drive and Fox Hill Drive. The community of Vertex will feature 128 home sites. There is a subdivision HOA of $170 per month and a Summerlin West Master HOA of $55 per month for a total HOA of $225 per month. There is a sales balance of approximately $8,000 which is paid $350 semi-annually. The lot premiums range between $0 up to $50,000 and the build times vary from 6 to 7 months. The lot sizes will range between 1,760 square feet up to 3,872 square feet, with the average lot size being 2,100 square feet. Vertex is a collection of two-story townhomes with four different floor plans. These four plans will range between 1,790 square feet up to 1,914 square feet, between two to three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage. Before we get started, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification button. Thank you so much. The floor plan that we'll be featuring today is the Plan 1 floor plan. This floor plan will always be the interior unit. It features 1,790 square feet, between 2-3 to three bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, and a 2-car garage. The current incentive at this community is that you'll get 3% of the base price toward your closing costs when using the preferred lender. If you are purchasing with cash, you'll get 1.5% of the base price toward your closing costs. The homes in the Vertex collection will feature 9-foot ceilings throughout. There are also 20-foot soaring ceilings in this foyer. The included flooring that comes with your home is a 17x17 17 17 ceramic tile flooring in the entry, kitchen, bathrooms, and the laundry room. The flooring that you see in this model home is an engineered hardwood, which is an upgrade. These homes come with a medium knockdown drywall texture. If you'd like to upgrade to the Santa Fe drywall texture shown here, this option will cost you $5,127. We also have 3 inch baseboards that are included, but if you'd like to upgrade to 5 inch baseboards, this will cost you $1,743. This home will also come with 6 foot and 8 inch interior doors. There are no options to upgrade to 8 foot interior doors. Through this door is your 2 car garage. The garage measures 20 by 20 and the included features in your garage is a tankless water heater, a soft water loop, and an EV charging pre-wire. All of the stair rails in your home will come with a pony wall. Here are a few options that you can upgrade your stair rails to, and the prices are also below. In this hallway is a Honeywell thermostat, and up here is your doorbell chime. Down this hallway to the left is an under the stairs storage. There is also a potter room on the first floor. A great thing about the Vertex collection is that you will not get a pedestal sink. Instead, you'll get base cabinets, quartz countertops, and an undermount sink, and a delta faucet in a chrome finish. This is your main living area with your kitchen, great room, as well as your dining room. It has a very open feel. The designer for the Vertex collection is Bobby Burke. Starting with the great room. The great room measures 11 by 21. You also get a pre-wire for ceiling fan or light, but the four LED lights are not included. If you would like to install the four LED lights, this will cost you $905. Next to the great room is the dining room. The dining room measures 11 by 13. Above the dining room are two LED lights. You also have the option to install a pre-wire for a chandelier. Here's the kitchen. The kitchen measures 16 by 9. We have a large kitchen island. The countertops that are included with your home are quartz countertops with a 1.5 inch eased edge. Pendant light pre-wires are not included with your home, but you will have the option to install as many as you like. 
A refrigerator does not come included with your home. Above the refrigerator space, you have an option to install 24 inch deep cabinets for $650. This door leads to the pantry. The matte black poles that you see here are an upgrade. In your kitchen, you'll have the option to install dovetail drawers and soft close hinges. These are just staple drawers and they are not soft close. Your included kitchen cabinets are 42 inch upper cabinets. You will have the option to add a 3 inch crown. This will cost you $650. How do you guys like your eggs? In your kitchen, you have the option to install full height backsplash and the option to install under cabinet LED lights. The kitchen appliances that come with your home are GE appliances. This will include a 30 inch freestanding range, a 30 inch microwave hood, and a dishwasher. There are a few different options to upgrade to such as GE Profile Appliances and Cafe Appliances. This is the microwave hood. This also vents outside. Your included dishwasher. Your included kitchen fixtures are a stainless steel double compartment undermount sink and a Delta SL faucet in a chrome finish. This soap dispenser is not included. On the right is the air switch for your garbage disposal. On the left is your air gap for your dishwasher. And this smaller faucet that you see here is for your reverse osmosis. The kitchen faucet that you see here is a Delta SL Touch faucet, but yours will be in chrome. There's a light here that shows blue when it's activated. This is the water filtration system. Off of the dining room is an 8x6 sliding glass door. Through the sliding glass door is your backyard. Your backyard will come unfinished. I like what they did with this backyard. A hose bib in the corner. And it looks like we're ready for some lemonade. I like how the artificial turf matches the raised deck. They complement each other very well. Your AC unit is located in the backyard. Here's a barbecue gas stove which you can install for $458. This is your irrigation timer and your porch light. Up above is the included Mirador. This is something different when you compare this to the Highview collection in the Inspirata which is also by TriPoint Homes. Gotta love pastries. These look pretty real. I need to touch them to make sure. I really like this carpet, but this is definitely a higher grade carpet. I would expect this to be a level 5 or level 6 carpet. At the top 3 stairs, you can go to either your left or your right. Let's head to the right. There's a Honeywell thermostat in this hallway. And the first room that we see here is the laundry room. The flooring has been upgraded to this smaller tile. A washer and dryer are not included with your home, nor are the upper cabinets above the washer and dryer. I love this artwork. Located in your laundry room is your smart panel.
Here's another nice artwork. There are two AC filters in this hallway and a jump duct that connects to your primary bedroom. This is your primary bedroom suite. It measures 14 by 13. This is a jump duct where it's connecting to. You'll get a pre-wire for ceiling fan or light, but the four LED lights are not included. It's a very eclectic artwork as well. In the primary bedroom suite, we have a walk-in closet. This is not your standard shelving, but this is the optional Freedom Rails closet organizer. Up above is access to your attic. In the primary bedroom suite, we have a sliding glass door that leads to a included mirror door. The plan 1 and the plan 2x are the only four plans that will have this mirror door. And the great thing is that this is not an option, but it is included. From the mirror door, we have beautiful views of the Red Rock Mountains. The community across from here is a Royal's Edge, which is also by Tripoint Homes. A door to your primary bathroom will not come included. If you'd like to add one, this option will cost you $1,167. I have not seen this tile used before on the floors. The included features in your primary bathroom are 3 and a quarter inch quartz countertops, dual undermount sinks, and delta faucets in a chrome finish. If you'd like to have your vanity mirror go to the ceiling, this option costs you $1,298. In the water closet, these base cabinets are included. That's a cool looking artwork. In your primary bathroom, you'll get a tub shower with a fiberglass surround. You will have the option to install a primary bath shower as shown here. This option will cost $1,348. This space here is your loft. This loft measures 15 by 10 and there's an option to convert the loft to bedroom 3. This option will cost $4,585. This built-in media center is not included. If you convert the loft to bedroom 3, bedroom 3 will measure 11.5 by 10 and will have a walk-in closet. This conversion will also shrink the size of bedroom 2 and give bedroom 2 a walk-in closet. The loft has a very open feel and you can overlook your foyer. Next to the loft is bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 is quite spacious and measures 14 by 11. If you convert the loft to bedroom 3, bedroom 2 shrinks in size and measures 11 by 11. As of now, we have beautiful views of the Las Vegas Strip, but these will be gone in the near future. West Sumlin is known as having one of the highest elevations in the entire Las Vegas Valley. You get cooler summers and these temperatures will range between 5 to 8 degrees cooler than the rest of the valley. Bedroom 2 has a very wide reaching closet. It pretty much goes from wall to wall. I wouldn't consider this a walk-in closet, but I can see why they did this so you can have the wall here to mount the TV. Bathroom 2 serves as an ensuite bathroom to bedroom 2. 
The included features in bathroom 2 are quartz countertops, an undermount sink, and a delta faucet in the chrome finish. If you convert the loft to bedroom 3, this bathroom becomes open to the hallway, rather than an ensuite bathroom to bedroom 2. You'll get this tub shower with a fiberglass surround for bathroom 2, but there's an option to install a shower in lieu of the tub. This option costs $1,348. This concludes my home tour of the Plan 1 floor plan in Vertex by Tripoint Homes in Redpoint Village of West Summerlin, Las Vegas, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or like my real estate assistance when buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.